Alright everyone, the class of entertainment is now in session. Please refrain from chewing any gum and if I ever catch you doing that, I'll cut off your tongue. Let's be honest here, not a lot of people really like their time in school, but we all know we had to go there to get a basic education. It's not like this topic has been ranted to de- oh shit. Well then, let's see if this new rant can bring something new to the table. Hey guys, it's Acacia, and I finally got a fish island. It was supposed to come way earlier than this, but it came today and I'm so happy. So let's just get to the main point of this video. Can I just say we've only been 11 seconds into this video, and already I've seen more edits in this than it is in a YouTube poop. Don't you guys just hate school? Cause I know I do. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. I literally hate school. Basically, I have this teacher and he'll always come up to me and he'll be like, Are you chewing gum? 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 I know you're chewing gum. I see you chewing that gum. I know that you're chewing gum. Repeating the same thing over and over again does not help your point. It just drags on the video. Also, just because you have a fancy camera effect doesn't make your video more cooler. It just makes you look like the ugly creature of the night. Like, dude, calm your tits. I'm not chewing gum. But then when I am chewing gum, he never catches me. You think I'm slack. Well, and if you are chewing gum in class, then your teacher must have noticed at some point, which is why he's constantly asking you if you are chewing gum. So no, you're not really that slick. When you have to wake up really early. I mean, I guess they think if you wake up early, it'll make your brain function better. But it actually doesn't because all you're thinking about is sleeping. Ugh. Well, at least that's all I'm thinking about. You know, you also need to get up early for, you know, your job. It could be argued that the early times of school are preparations for getting up early to go to your job. When you get in trouble for talking back to the teacher even though you're just standing up for yourself. I mean, yeah, 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 I understand. Disrespect, disrespect. But I mean, if the teacher's gonna accuse you for something that you didn't do, don't you think that you're gonna stand up for yourself? Because I know I will. Even if I do get in trouble for it, it's worth it. Okay, maybe not. It's not just about the case of disrespect, but also the case of hierarchy. The teacher is much more higher in the system than the student, just like the boss is more higher than the employee. This doesn't mean that you can't stand up for your innocence, but that doesn't mean that you can argue with them in a certain way. When the teacher says that you can't eat in class, but then she pulls out her candy bar and eats right in front of you. Something kind of like this. I feel caught on that. I'm gonna feel caught on this. I'm gonna hate it. It's fine. I feel caught. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it's all good. I'm, I'm not a pig. Thanks for that lovely image of you eating like a pig whilst with that lovely camera effect. I'll be sure to wash my eyes out with sulfuric acid later on. When the teachers take your phone away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. My phone is my life and I'm pretty sure I don't want your crusty hands all over it. Ah, uh, yeah, hi. Oh, new microphone. Um, basically, um, this is what you could do with your phone. By the way, this is mine. Um, it's called, um, turning it off, putting it on mute, or... Put it away. Now last time when my teacher took away my phone, I cried. Yeah, 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 don't make fun of me. You cried when your teacher took away your phone. I think if it died, you'll probably consider yourself a widow. I mean, come on, my phone is my life. Who wouldn't cry about that? Um, people who don't get emotionally attached to objects? I can understand if it was basically like a childhood object, like a teddy or a toy car or something like that, but it's a phone. I doubt if you had that same phone when you were two years old. When you get in trouble and you ask what did I do, and the teacher won't even give you an answer. They're all like, just go to the principal's office, just go. And I'm all like, now I asked you for an answer so you better reply to me because I'm not just going to sit here and be yelled at for no apparent reason. I would like to have a reason before you yell at me. Maybe it's because that you were too ignorant to notice that what you were doing was wrong. Judging by how you act in this video, I really would want to kick you out of my class. Let's just put it out there. We all hate our teachers. Unless you're in elementary, you probably like your teacher. And if not, sucks to be you because you're stuck with her the whole rest of the year. But if you're in middle school or high school or college, then you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Considering I was paying more attention to what they were saying rather than hating their guts. When the teachers get all up in your grill. I mean, like, come on. You're busting my bubble. 
and I need my personal space. Yo, bitches, you get in my grill, I gonna need my personal space. You're busting my bubble, yo. Get out of my brain, I'll get my goo on you. And something, something, yo, they ignore the, the white people trying to act black. Okay, I got nothing. Now I know in some schools you're not allowed to wear these bracelets. To be honest, I really don't get why. I mean, we're just supporting breast cancer. Like, come on. Granted, it might be for a good cause, it also has the words boobies on it, which could be seen in an immature manner. And considering that school is not about immaturity, but about education, then it can be seen why the school would want to ban those sort of bracelets. The way some kids act. Either you're very immature, or you just get on my nerves, period. And also, when students try to act funny, even though they're not. Like when people try to act funny and gangster in YouTube videos ranting about schools. Isn't that ironic? Now that was all for today's video. Now if you agree with any of these, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to comment and subscribe. So bye guys. In a shocking twist, this rant didn't make school look bad, but it actually made it look good. Considering that if we didn't have an education, we'd probably end up how you are acting in this video. With that being said, this is entertainment, and Chris Jericho invented the commentary community.